Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. We are wrapping up a mini series. Ooh, 1980s TV speak. Yeah, mini series. We're wrapping up a mini series on mental health because it is Mental Health Awareness Month. Thank you for pronouncing that for me. Yep. Um, Kevin and I joke around a lot. Um, we try to have fun. And um, we do want to kind of wrap this up with just, you know, a recap of sorts, but also just a reminder that, you know, mental health is a serious subject. Um, it's not one size fits all. We, th well, again, throw ideas out there. And when we're coming across, it feels very much like do this and you'll be good. There's a right. lot of angles of mental health. <laughs> mental health. A lot of variables, a lot of moving parts. And yep. Everyone's unique, no doubt. So you want to run us through a yeah, quick so kind of recap? Yeah, we, so we opened up with diet, and uh, we said, you know, and this is really interesting because you, your perspectives change a little bit as you're doing some of these. Diet, and I said that, you know, if you're looking at one particular area, I'd start with diet, and that's very true. But and I think it's still true. But uh, maybe really, better put is nutrition, nutrition as opposed to diet. That's correct. You know, um, but also right next to that was exercise, right? And um, making sure you get your exercise in, and it's a great stress reliever, but it also creates purpose for you. And then we talked about purpose and higher purpose and yep. you know taking care of your kids or a loved one or a family member or spirituality spirituality or... and um even hobbies right doing something you love doing is 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 enough to get you out of and we talked about the yeah. you know breaking the chain reaction so to speak and like get out and do something that you love experiencing nature and we talked about the great outdoors and how even just getting outside is something other than self. You are forced to look at the creativity of the world. You're forced to look at all the different elements that are going on without you even paying attention to it, right? Yeah. It's, um, it's the gift of life is a miracle. It is absolutely a miracle. And you know, we are truly blessed to to be here. And I think that maybe that's one area we didn't even cover was thankfulness. And mm. I know it's hard to be thankful when you're in this dark state of depression and the world is crushing in on you. But even if you don't mean it, kind of say a prayer of thanks and, you know, hey, I'm, I'm thankful for what I got and looking at what I got versus looking at what I don't have. Right. Yeah. Perspective. perspective. So yeah, we, we covered a lot, um, and to your point, we make a lot of jokes about it. And, and Barugata. Yeah. That know. was you, for the record. Yeah. <laughs> Meditation and prayer was a big, big, big one. It is a you big know? one. I it, mean, like forcing yourself, and again, I think there's a common theme here. There's, if I can look outside of myself and not focus on my issues for 5, 10, 15 minutes, and that is exercise and getting outdoors and all the, it breaks that chain reaction and it's so powerful. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, just a couple takeaways. I, I would, I would think if you, if you are battling with any kind of mental illness, um, it can be a very long road. There's very seldom a, a quick fix. And uh, I would encourage anyone that any progress is to be celebrated, no matter how small, if you're having a hard time, getting in the shower in the morning and you're just able to brush your teeth that's, that's a, a win it's yeah. a victory um so you know take it slow you know celebrate every little moment um in doing my research there was a quote and it said uh one of the greatest it was someone who had battled depression and they said the greatest advice they ever got was um i don't want to mess this up you don't have to be, um, you don't have to be thankful or you don't, you don't have to be looking forward to tomorrow. Just be curious about what's around the corner. That's pretty deep. So I thought it was, you know, it's a, cause a curiosity is not the same as, as I want it, but, but I'm it's, curious of what's there. And it's it, and enough. It might, for, it's enough for you to take that next step. Right. Right. So a couple resources I think we would be um, 
um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, irresponsible if we didn't, you know, um, probably the first one that's the easiest to remember, mentalhealth.gov. I'm not a big fan of pointing anyone at our government. (laughs) (laughs) No, we believe they're the cause of a lot of this mental health. (laughs) Right. But but it is a good resource, whether you're a veteran, whether you're battling depressive thoughts up up and into, you know, suicidal thoughts, um, family therapy. It's kind of a good starting point to kind of just get you down a certain path. There is an organization, and I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to look at my notes for this one because it's called SAMHSA, I believe. Nice. And that stands for Substance Abuse and Medical Health Services Administration. So they are – it actually links right from mentalhealth.gov, but they are a services locator where you can put in where you live and if you need to speak to a professional – um, so I would encourage that, you know, Kevin and mine, the, our advice is very much, um, you, you know, steps you can take in your own life. Um, we're trying to bring awareness to, you know, if you're ignoring proper nutrition or you're not meditating, you know, that those can be things you can simply work on. But if you need help, get help um, and don't be uh, discouraged or shy about doing so. You know, uh, hope is a a great thing, and I hope that this was actually helpful to many people that are out there, and I hope that you hope that tomorrow is going to be a beautiful day. Just be curious about it. That's right. All right. Is that it? That's it. Well, you have a tagline. (laughs) Stay moving, but you didn't do any of your tagline stuff. Oh, yeah, sorry. (laughs) Questions, comments, concerns. Email us at snackcast at yes.fit. Stay moving. (laughs) See you.